Hey YouTube! So I am here to uh, do a video and I'm going to turn on some lights. Turn on some lights. Um, I'm gonna, well I am wiping down my um, stove because I have spilt pe pepper all over my stove. So spilt pepper, it's a bob. So I um uh, I'm here to just have a little chit chat while I clean up and then I am going to be making some chicken legs. Um, so, um, I just finished talking to my sister and I was just kind of seeing what my sister was doing. Um, and then... Uh, I talked to my stepmother, and so my my stepmother and my dad, my stepmother and my dad just got a a divorce. So. I have been just attempting to more or less stay out of the way with all of that. Um, my stepmom is so awesome. She's an awesome person. I, I, um, I just feel like my dad could have tried to be a little bit more of a better person towards her and that just wasn't the case. So... Um, yeah, they ended up getting a actual divorce, and maybe it'll teach them to treat her better, maybe it won't. I've, they've been married for 20 some odd years, so if he was to do a turnaround, If he was to do a turnaround all these years later, um, I just, I don't know if I see it happening. <laughs> He's always been an asshole. Always been an asshole. And um, I don't know too many people that would just deal with him and continuously let him have side chicks or just come home late or you know do the things that he was doing as a married man it's completely unacceptable and uh he could have tried a little bit more i feel to keep his marriage intact but instead he ended he ended a 24-year marriage, 22, 24-year marriage, um, in divorce. So, I, I, I am happy because I did have that example of what a marriage would look like and, you know, what happiness could look like if one was to be happy 
in in a relationship and and um, to really make things work with their significant other spouse um, if one was to actually try to work that out that's what that relationship would look like but somehow or another they just couldn't see eye to eye so they ended in divorce um and they were divorced uh, a few weeks ago I believe a few weeks ago they divorced well a couple of months ago more yeah a couple of months ago actually um, they ended everything and got a divorce I have a Reese's Pieces on top of some Life Brand cereal, which is melted because I have had my stove on. Um, so it's a little sad um, that they had to end their marriage um, after all these years. Because of continual, con continuous fighting. And so that is a loss to me. But no one is um, a perfect human being and, you know, on to the next, say la vie. Um, there's nothing that I can do to save the marriage as much as I want to be, you know, like, hey, I can, I can do something to, like, have y'all do some type of marriage counseling or um, some type of therapy, anything, just to, uh, anything that would help their relationship bloom instead of bloom and groom, bloom and doom. <laughs> Instead of uh, their marriage going completely down the drain, uh, but that's not what was wanted, I believe, maybe on both of their ends. They were just fed up with each other. I want to say that I feel... As if my dad could have fought a little harder for his relationship and could have uh, kept his relationship intact where him and his wife weren't splitting up, but... I believe that they were just both over each other. Well, I don't believe that they were just over each other. It was like done. I don't believe that. I Okay, for one, to jump out the boat and just say that, that they were completely done with each other, I don't necessarily believe. Um, because she is still allowing him to sleep at the house and um, they're no longer together. So, because me, it's, it's easy to say, you know, from the outside looking in, oh, if that was me, I wouldn't allow him to be at my house. I wouldn't allow him to to stay in in my home 
he would be kicked out on the streets. I just, I don't care. And Colorado, mind you, is a little bit more on the expensive side as far as living in Colorado. Uh, in, where, in Oklahoma, where he's from, to rent an apartment, it's like two to three hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Um, maybe in the nicer part of town, maybe six hundred dollars. But I, I want to say maybe seven, eight hundred dollars is the most you're gonna pay for an apartment. If that's where you want to live, is in a apartment. But if it's just not. tickling your pickle you know like if it's just not worth the money to be there or whatever then of course you know um it may be something that you want to leave or leave behind and if it is then i would definitely leave that behind it's not worth it just because an apartment is on the nice side of town doesn't mean that it's a nice apartment necessarily you know and that's my wisdom for the day. Um, but right now I am kind of just washing off some of my dishes, scrubbing them down. That way I can put them in the dishwasher and have my sink clear, clean and clear of dishes because it drives me up the wall to put my dishes in the dishwasher and then there's like gunk all over the the pots and pans and then it's just harder to harder to actually clean the burnt pan crust off of the so that is what I'm doing right now it's kind of taking my pins and just washing them down um, I did make some, um, I did make some, uh, cheese, some cream cheese, cream cheese, cream cheese puffs the other day. And they did come out quite delicious. Oh, and I also made some, um, you know those cream, um, those sugar cream things that you get from, oh, this is hand soap. Those sugar cream, sugar cream, um, that you get from uh, from the Chinese store I did make some of those a few months ago and they did come out quite delectable delectable they were very very good so I am able I was able, excuse me, to get some more cream cheese and I am going to make some, I'm going to make some more
within the next week or two. Or maybe even today. I can make some today. That'd be a nice little surprise for the day, you know? Like, really get in there and Everything is ready to be put into the um, dishwasher. I smell oil, spoiled milk. Spilt oil, spoiled milk. wanting to grab the hand soap oh I was watching a, a case on YouTube the other day which was about a girl from Tennessee and her boyfriend murdered her in her sleep in her in her bed in her sleep so he obviously knew the um out like he knew what the inside of her bedroom looked like in order for him to shoot her through the wall or through the window that actually pierced her pillow and then the left side of her ear, which killed her instantly. Um, so that was a little terrifying and also um, upsetting, like beyond terrifying, beyond upsetting. like. You know, she was only a 16-year-old girl who lost her life because her boyfriend couldn't let her go. And she lost her life to that. You know, like, that is something that me as a mother could never even dream or never even would want to think of, of you know... Oh, I woke up one day and go to wake my daughter up to go to school and um, she's not responding, she's not moving, she's not responding, she's not moving, she's not moving because she's not responding and she's not responding because she's not moving so something obviously is more wrong than what is appearing and you know like Her face is blue. Her body isn't moving. And this is like what public knowledge that her boyfriend absolutely hates her, you know. And They had just split up a couple weeks before this, 
and her parents had to let her know, you know, like, hey, we don't want him around, we don't want him at the house. They had already taken away her cell phone. Um, but he ended up giving her a iPod Touch to continue to, uh, to, to text him. So she was able to text him over the Wi-Fi without any, um, without her parents' acknowledgement, you know, without her parents acknowledging or without her parents knowing and, and without her parents being able to acknowledge that she was using the Wi-Fi on a iPod Touch to be able to get in touch with this boyfriend of hers. Um, they did, they did actually have a very tumultuous, 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 tumultuous uh, relationship. So it'd be good, it'd be bad, it'd be good, it'd be bad. So they had one of those type of relationships to where like everything wasn't always peaches and cream. And that is something that they just went through, you know, like they would always fight. And so uh, with their continuous fighting, her, her parents finally came to the conclusion like, you know, like I don't want y'all to be together no more. This is a unhealthy relationship. And I guess uh, she also, the daughter, had came to the conclusion, like, you know what, this is the end for me. This um, Now, when I'm saying this is the end, I'm not saying, like, she was to think, like, or she was thinking, not even as if she was to think, you know, like, she was thinking, oh, this is going to be the end of my life because my boyfriend is absolutely crazy, you know. And you don't think to say that one is that crazy to where, like, oh, they will kill you or anything like that. But, you know, because your boyfriend is someone that you would assume that you can trust. But that's just like saying sleeping with the enemy and the enemy is trustworthy, you know. So, um, ended up, um, the boyfriend had went to a party that she was at and he wasn't supposed to be there. He said that he had gotten kidnapped and his friends and the girl also didn't believe him. He was also in college by this time and the girl was still in high school. She was a fresh sophomore? Freshman? Freshman? She was only 16. So, um, the friends didn't believe him saying that, you know, like, you didn't get, you know, uh, you didn't get kidnapped, you shouldn't be here, you need to leave. So, because uh, when they went outside to find her, him, because someone was sending her text messages, like vile text messages, saying like, if you don't want your family to be hurt, you better come outside now. And, um, she was reluctant to go outside, not even reluctant, I mean, he, uh, she was absolutely terrified to go outside, you know, like, so she didn't go out there, but she showed a friend of hers, like, hey, I'm receiving these text messages, what should I do, you know, and so, like, I guess they ended up going outside all together, and then that's when they found her boyfriend laying in a ditch or cornfield or a ditch a ditch or a cornfield outside of the house and then that's whenever he was saying like oh you know I was I was kidnapped and you know beat up and this that I was kidnapped and beat up and beat up and kidnapped and they were just like you know um I don't believe you and you know like you're not supposed to be here. This is a party for us, you know. And she, meaning her, 
the, boy, the girlfriend, you know, like, had broke up with him, and he absolutely should not be at this party. So, he took that pretty bad, left the party, and, uh, I'm not too, too sure about what happened after he left the party, but things weren't looking on the up and up. So yeah. Then I guess he had taken his grandfather's gun. And so uh, that night after that party, the friends and the girl all stayed the night with each other because they were scared. And I mean, I, I would absolutely just be scared too. Like I would be more terrified than, than just being scared about a situation. Like I would be shitting in my pants, you know, like, I would be absolutely scared and terrified. So then, um, after all this happens, her best friend, one of her friends, drives her home the next day. Then there was a guy walking down the, uh, down the girl's street down the girl's um, uh, road in a black outfit, black hat, black shoes, black pants. And um, her best friend continued to go drop her off. Um, I guess she wasn't, I, I, I wouldn't, I don't know how to say like if she was or wasn't thinking, but her friend, Meaning, um, the girl, the Tennessee girl who was murdered, and her friend, um, she, she had said, like, you know, she dropped off her friend, and then, um, she texted the boyfriend, Josh, I believe his name was, and was like, you know, why are you, uh, on her road why are you driving by her house or why are you on her street in black clothing like what's going on so in between this time so he also okay so in between this time he uh the man the man in all black the man in all black goes to knock at the girl's apartment he goes to knock at the at the at the girl's apartment and um and the girl um the girl texts her boyfriend and she's like I'm so scared. There's someone banging on the front door. He's dressed in all black. I thought I was going to die. Like I, I, I need you to be. I need you to come over. You know, like I need you. So she's like thinking he's coming to save her. And it, it was actually him. You know. So, so we're assuming at this time in the story, oh, we're just assuming that it's him. Like, no, like he shows up finally a little bit afterwards and is there to kind of like tend to her or like be the saving grace in the situation. And, um...
so a little while after that, the parents arrive, and the boyfriend, and the boyfriend, so Josh and his girlfriend, Mackenzie, uh, Mackenzie, uh, I just, uh, they're on the porch talking as the parents show up, and the parents are showed up, and the parents are saying like, hey, you know, we don't want you here. I use Chipotle garlic roasted seasoning, garlic salt, garlic herb, uh, Mrs. Dash, and then, um, Then I'm also going to use some onion salt and some onion powder. So the boy's like, okay, you know, I have to leave. He gets he gets um, himself together and leaves. Well, after he leaves, um. I believe the next day is when the little girl was shot and killed in her bed. Um, in her bed, shot and killed um, at night alone. Um, well, her parents were there, but unless he had, unless he had a silencer on the gun, They didn't hear the gunshots, you know? And then they were, they were asleep in their home, you know? Um, they weren't just, they weren't thinking that, they weren't thinking that they were going to wake up and their daughter was going to be shot in their, in their own home, you know? So, that was a big deal, you know? One of these legs I'm going to make with Cheeto dust on it. Cheeto dust. I'm going to get my... I just washed this and I'm not sure. Just my trash can. Okay. I'm going to wash this. Um,
gonna put some Cheeto dust in here. That is our chicken. We're gonna put some Cheeto chips. Deciding between between Cheeto chips and um, and um, Cheeto puffs, Cheeto crunchy and Cheeto puffs, not chips, Cheeto crunchy, um, and Cheeto chips are just sometimes a whole episode. Just a second. get the top off you might be getting somewhere but anywho but anywho going to do a little bit of mixing up in here just a little and because I've already seasoned it we're going to just take the seasoned meat here and we're gonna dip it in our egg batter just throw some of this hot Cheetos on it. And just really coat it. Cover it with hot Cheetos. Then we're going to lay that on the pan. Want to throw a little bit more of these hot Cheetos on the chicken. That is that. I'm gonna wash this pan out. And our oven is actually ready. So I am going to go ahead and throw this into the oven 
I'm going to wash this out as well and throw it into the dishwasher as it is washing dishes um, to our meat grinders. Now that that looks good. La -di da Okay, we're going to put these into the oven and bake them for a good 30 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna put the meat grinder by my plant fish bowl. Okay. Um, so while we're waiting, I am going to take my plant here and I'm going to put it into have my dyes, my color, my colors, my colorful dyes. And we're going to put this plant in here. Okay, so this looks really good. Um, we're gonna scoop up some of this soil and put it back into the top of the fish, into the back of the fish bowl plant. And then we're gonna wash our hands. And then we are going to put this piece on top then we're going to put our plant there wash our sink out That is that. Then I also have this little ribbon. We are going to tie.
Okay. I'm gonna put our food coloring back up here. And then we also have our Jiffy pots. And then I had a little cactus for like a Mexican party day that I was wanting to have. So I was really excited about that. And then here is a extra planter. So I'm gonna put these planting planters up under the sink by my um, by my um, staple gun, which it isn't a actual staple gun. It's you know, um, it's a stapler. You know, not a gun, 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 but it's a stapler that I do um, if I that I do uh, want to keep away, away from any kids um, so that they stay out of harm's way. So, there's that. And, yeah. So, I have a beef barbacoa seasoning pack. And then I also have a meatloaf seasoning pack. And then have my snap clip. I'm going to put this into my pantry area. Here. And then I have my two plants that I am going to be taking outside here in a little while, but I'm gonna put them in my sink for now. My aloe vera plant, and then this are, those are uh, broccoli. So my broccoli and my aloe vera plant, put those back into the kitchen for a little bit longer. Turn off my kitchen light. And then we are going to try and get a few things done at the computer do y'all like my chair i made it myself i'm not finished i have um another piece to go but it's very very beautiful it comes with a little white table and then i have one more chair just like this the other one i kept plastic uh bare white plastic because um i use it in the sauna so that's why i actually kept it bare white but um, um, I am going to be trying to do a little bit of work on the computer but my computer mouse is frozen so I'm gonna turn the computer off try and turn it back on and see where we're gonna get from there if we get anywhere from there and then I have my brand new headset out by my hammer and submitted a knitted uh, uh, toboggan hat and then an Arabian night uh, head band dress a purple wig and then some bird seeds um, of a bird named Cheeto and so this is what I'm going to be using to work from home and get uh, work done maybe do play some uh, computer games uh, uh, everything that one a 12 year old would be doing <gasps> playing snake you know so um, I have also a set of uh, green headphones, which are a little bit older. These are my gray headphones, not green, they're gray. Um, but yeah, so for one headset I keep at the computer and one headset I use for my laptop. 
put both of those down there and that uh, bottom tray with my mouse and crayons. Crayola, Crayola. And yeah, so that's about all she is about over here. Okay, yeah, so she looks really good. We are going to be filling that out a little bit more. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog now. I'll probably start one back up in a little while um, once the food is done and I will do a eating session with you guys. I will talk to you later. Peace out, love you YouTube.